Hello there folks, it's Gravity here, and I just wanted to sh uh, there's this demo. Basically, there's this game that was shown off in the Nintendo Direct that interested me quite a bit. Turns out there was a demo, I mean, they already said it in the Direct, but I didn't really have it kick in until like a couple days later. I was like, oh, there's a demo for this, it's coming out next month. Um, it's called Voice of Cards, The Isle Dragon Roars. Um, I played a tiny, like, a very, like, very few minutes of it. <laughs> Uh, but I wanted to share this with you to get this out due to the fact that I'm pretty sure this is a brand new game that was announced. I haven't heard this game before the Nintendo Direct, but based on what I've seen, it looks very interesting. It looks like something that would be a lot of fun for people that are a fan of maybe something like this kind of art, this kind of style. I want to say art style, it's not really an art style. It's literally, everything's literally cards. The title screen is cards, the menu is cards. I'm gonna go start as a new game. I only played like five minutes worth, maybe. And I love how the loading screen is literally just <laughs> shuffling cards, and you can actually press on the control stick and shuffle the cards upwards or downwards. I love it. What happens if you do it sideways? Okay, it doesn't do a side shuffle. <laughs> And by the way, this guy, the, this, you, what you're about to see. So, this game right here. Good afternoon. Or should I say evening? Uh, morning. This guy, this morning? guy is going to be narrating this rate, game. I'm the game master. Pleased to make your acquaintance. His voice sounds so Before familiar. Begin, I feel like I remember it from another tell. game, but I can't remember see, where. My job is to draw you into this world with my voice and cards. Which is why I believe it best for you to play with the sound on. Play with the sound on. In fact, I insist on it. He insists. However, <laughs> as you can see, my voice is subtitled, so you can always read along as well. I love this. this now then, are you ready? It feels like it feels Let's like begin. we're I'm playing like a D and D or like some kind of tabletop <laughs> RPG with the guy being the game master. Under voice of cards. You are about to take the first steps of your adventure. Look, this is cool. Through a realm of sword and sorcery you will travel, battling bloodthirsty monsters as you strive to realize your ambitions. I have every faith you will accomplish great things here. Oh, and I love this. It's like, and you are, and whom will you be? Uh. I? I am merely a witness to your exploits. Now then, your departure draws nigh. May your journey be a safe one. And I bet you're like, well, if this guy is going to be narrating the game, does that mean this game is fully voiced? Yes. Kinda. <laughs> it's just his voice. But I don't mind that, actually. Normally, it would probably be something that would probably be really dumb and, like, really, like, not this good. Is Castle Advent. Queen Nilla reigns over the kingdom from within its walls. But for some reason, his voice makes it feel, like, natural. Like, he's telling me, a, it feels like he's telling me a story. And I really like, well, either he's telling me a story or like I'm reading an ebook or like an interactive ebook. And I'm just playing and I'm just playing through the interactive ebook. Like his voice, it just sounds like, you know what? I'm okay with this. I actually really like this. this I like this feel that it has to it. Literally makes it feel like that is just made just one guy playing as the game master, narrating all of the choices you and your characters do. I like this. Because if you can tell, it's kind of like you're reading through a story and just one guy is narrating everything. Even narrating through other different characters' uh, dialogue. Rather than each character having their own voice because every this game is represented by cards and kind of like a tabletop RPG. Role play. Well, I don't want to say RPG, tabletop role playing game because that's what it is. And. Basically, you control your you control yourself with this piece. So basically, you can just move around, and you can use the right stick to move or to go look around the can look around the camera. Um, we're just gonna go up here and meet the queen. <laughs> From upon her throne, the queen regards the adventurers. So you are disciples of the order. This the art for this is also the amazing. Look at this art. This art reminds me. I, I, I've seen a lot of people talk about this during the direct when people were reacting to it. But 
It reminds me a lot of the Bravely Default, the Bravely, the Bravely Default and the Octopath style, but kind of not. Kind of like almost a, it's a, a mixture of something else. But I love it. Glancing to her two companions. And I love how, like, to represent motions and um, gestures, they move the cards in certain ways to make it feel like they're doing that. So, like, they had Winifred bow, so they had her card literally, like, just tilted aside. That's a, honestly a very nice touch. I think this game will be really fun, honestly. In response, the stern looking one inclines his head and brusquely names himself Berwin. <laughs> the older man is the picture of courtesy as he genuflects and introduces himself as Hedwin. Honestly, with that face he's given me, he does not look like he is courteous. <laughs> it is these three our story follows today. And also from what it seems like based on the based on the direct um the uh they showed a different party i don't know if there's multiple parties in this game or maybe this is a demo only party um but we'll see how it goes the queen acknowledges the fellowship with a nod in a soft voice she explains her errand someone has stolen the royal treasure i bid you reclaim it mm, stolen in treasure circumstances i would entrust this to my soldiers but i do not wish to spread thin my forces with the recent monster troubles it seems that like i said this guy's voice is on point she can entrust this matter to none if this guy had to record literally every line of dialogue for this game he better be getting paid battle. bank he better be getting that money it is our honor to serve you your majesty and thus the quest falls to the fellowship so yeah, we have this quest that could lead them to, to retrieve the royal uh, treasure. The queen for further information. Yeah, we get to ask questions. So you even get the options of like asking the queen questions. So I'll let's go for what's the royal treasure. The ship asks the queen what the royal treasure is. The queen describes a bottle containing a certain liquid. A liquid. Without what? It, she trails off, but the desperation in her voice suggests its loss. Could spell disaster for the kingdom. What the heck's in that liquid? <laughs> Did you see the thief, your majesty? The fellowship asks <laughs> the queen if she knows anything about the thief. The queen says witnesses might be found at Nexton. Now, if there's one thing I will hope they do in the full game, is possibly auto, um, like pretty much, you know how in most RPGs and most games where it'll automatically go on to the next line of dialogue without pressing A. I don't mind it, <laughs> but it, it's it's nice, especially to make the voice the voice work flow faster. Um, Usually, one but if not, that's cool. Recompense for this sort of undertaking. I haven't tried mercenary, but what? I pre I I pressed the minus button to see if anything would. See if anything would happen. As demanding a reward would go against the but nothing happens. <laughs> order, you hold your tongue. Well, yeah, the you don't want to be like, hey, hey, queen, said she will <laughs> what's my reward if I get this? Desire. And it's like, oh, I don't want that reward. See ya. <laughs> Man, whatever we desire is just that important. Pray, Terry, no longer here. I await news of your success. The fellowship bows and takes their leave. But I think this game looks really promising. Honestly, I un I understand Metroid Dread comes out, right? <laughs> I understand Nickelodeon All Star Brawl comes out. <laughs> but um, actually, when does I know it comes out in October? I don't know exactly what day it comes out. I know it's not on the same day as Dread. Head south to next it. Alright, you can press the plus button for the menu. You can, uh, oh, cards you encounter in your journey will be added to your collection. Oh, you can, like, view all the card art. I didn't look at that at first when I was, uh, playing on my own. And I like how, as you continue, it'll, all the cards will flip over and unlock and show what it reveals. Town. Wait, cries Berwin, blocking Winifred's path. 
honestly, this is like a game where like you don't really have to talk over, like do uh, to talk over, but you can if you want to comment on the game, which I which I do. I like commentary. I do commentary. Yes, yes, yes. Oh yeah, look at this goat monster sheep thing. <laughs> you dare stand in our way? Edwin scowls at the foul creature. It lunges at the fellowship. And then we have the RPG battles, where some people might be a little iffy on, because he may. So I have only played one or two battles with this, but I kind of get what they what they're trying to go for for this. So we've got this fight. It's a card fight, right? But technically, it's not the kind where. It's not the kind where, like, let's say in, like, Slay the Spire, where you get a random set of cards to use in your battle. No, these are actually your, uh, your abilities. So, for, uh, I think her name is, what, Gwendolyn, I think? <laughs> uh, you have a Magnet Strike, a White Heal, and a Pass. But when you see this White Heal here, you see this white crystal out in the bottom right of the card, of the art card. Those crystals on the top left are, is pretty much like your MP. Basically, that card, if you use that card, it uses up one of your crystals, but you get one every turn. So it's kind of like... So, it's kind of like, um... Think of it like, uh... Something like Pokemon card, like the Pokemon TCG, where you need energy for certain attacks. And you're just using that energy, but it comes back next turn. So let's just deal damage to the, this little shoot thing. <laughs> So yeah, the number in the red is her HP. If it gets zero, they die. <laughs> and kind of like Yu-Gi-Oh, <laughs> or like Magic or whatever, the number on the left side is their attack level, and the defense is their the right oh, it's on the right side. So basically, kind of like Yu-Gi-Oh or Magic, where basically you uh, <laughs> subtract your attack with the monster's defense. Which is why it did six damage, I believe, or seven, I think. And then uh, this card on the bottom left is basically your items. And you can plus, press plus to run away or attempt to. Um, we're gonna do a flame just so I can show you what I mean by. See, it takes up a it takes up a crystal to use that magic. That does it for battle basics. The rest is up to you. Play your hand wisely. Oh, and it can heal itself. Interesting. Uh, I will just do a downward strike on him, and that'll be the end of him. Dead. And you see, like I said, every turn. Oh, it looks like she, looks like I got a critical and a, a second attack, which she didn't do last time. Maybe there's some abilities that you have too. Oh, and here's another cool thing. <laughs> the XP and the gold is represented by cards. <laughs> Everything is literally cards in this game, except for the magic, which I understand because it's like a tabletop role-playing game. Gotta correct myself. Winifred heaves a disgruntled sigh as she smooths her rumpled gar. Oh, it's Winifred. I thought it was Gwendolyn. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> Showing no signs of weariness from battle, Berwin silently wipes the monster's icon from his weapon. Edwin inspects the remains of their foe. The queen spoke true, he mutters, his face masked in contemplation. Winifred gives a grim nod at his words. Mayhap the treasure's theft and the monster's behavior are connected somehow. Hmm, interesting. First, first, the Fellowship needs to gather more information. To Nixton, they set their sights. Alright, so we're going to the nearby town, which is... Looks like to be that glowing card. Oh, I went the wrong way. And here's an Exton. I love... Enter Nexton? Sure, why not? <laughs> now, it is a little weird that there's no music playing in, like, that area. <laughs> Would you like to have them explained? Well, I don't want to, but for the sake of the video, sure, why not? <laughs> so, this is the inn. Recovering HP. This is the basic stuff. Apothecaries, uh, getting uh, restorement items. You've got the armor for weapons and the item shop for generic items. And we have uh, what I like. Uh, every RPG needs to have some kind of mini game. We've got the game parlor. <laughs> I wonder what card game it is, though. I haven't tried. 
Speak to the inhabitants of Nexton to gather information on the thief. So basically, any any card that has the silhouette of people, you can talk to. This one is my favorite Welcome so to far. Nexton, hails a man. Welcome to Nexton. This game has a little bit of a little bit of humor. <laughs> Anything you want to ask him? <laughs> Tell us of this place. Man doesn't respond to any question Listen. except to parrot back his original greeting. He literally, he literally is just a, like one of those NPCs where they literally just say the same thing over and over. <laughs> like when you ask him again, <laughs> when you ask him, how, have you heard of a, th was there a the theft? <laughs> Listen. If he's heard anything about the theft of the royal treasure. The man's eyes widen. He leans close to Winifred and whispers something in her ear. Welcome. <laughs> oh, I can't. <laughs> I know this is probably dumb to you, but I, I find that pretty humorous. Um, but, but yeah, this is basically the farthest as far as I got into the uh, into the demo. Um, I actually have a save file on here. Let me look it up. Oh, and here's the inf look. The menu is just amazing. They uh, literally, they, when they said everything was represented by cards, they meant it. <laughs> See, then we got skills, abilities, equipment, and party. And then you've got owned cards. You can look at what cards you have, which is your item. So we have salves, and we have uh, Inspire Elixir <laughs> for a revival. Um, and we have a collect our collection, which is our collection of cards that we can look at. I believe this is just for look, just looking at the card. Honestly, this the card art looks amazing. I love it. And then we go to data for saving. Uh, I am just going to load. No, I don't want to overwrite data. No, 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 no. I'm gonna load. But yeah, that's pretty much all there is when it comes to the dem. Well, these. I'm pretty sure the demo goes a lot farther. I don't know how far it goes, but. From what I've seen, this game looks pretty promising. I already talked to a couple of the people here. Uh, they don't really tell you much about the thief yet. A woman sits hunched over by the side of the road. Why does she have a knife? Why does she have a knife? Upon catching sight of the fellowship, she calls out for their aid. She sprained her ankle and needs you to take her to the nearby apothecary. But why does she have a knife? Oh, actually, there was one thing I forgot to mention that I probably should have put in there. But apparently, also, certain characters have their own individual side quests. Certain characters, certain NPCs have their own side quests, and they pull it up in the menu when you're playing. When you talk to a side quest that isn't that welcome to Nexton guy. <laughs> but, uh, basically, it uh, seems, I don't know if this is true, but I don't know if the game says it, but... It seems like there might be certain uh, side quests for certain NPCs that, like, side stories, which I like. So they're going to the apothecary. Transport the hobbled woman to the apothecary. So where's this apothecary? Okay, it's right over there. And like I said, all of the cards that you can't see are ones that are going to be revealed when you walk by them. You can jump over to upward facing terrain cards. Use the right stick to choose which direction you want to jump, then press the A button. Try jumping to the apothecary. How do I jump? <laughs> I tried jumping in the ocean. <laughs> so you can like just straight up just jump over there. I like that. You arrive at the apothecary. But why does she have that face with a knife in her hand? I don't like that. <laughs> I feel like she she about to get she about to knock us out. But I know she's just After an NPC. A curative, the woman begins hopping up and down. Oh. Nothing holds a candle to ivory order medicine. She beams. She turns to the fellowship, her eyes widening in surprise. You three. It seems she's only now realized the Fellowship are disciples of the Ivory Order. The woman takes each of their hands in turn, thanking them for their Like service. I said, I love how they have each card interact with each other in such a way to try to make it represent the characters actually doing something. Again, I'm 
based on what I'm seeing, I'm sold on this game already. I I don't know if I'll get it day one. I'll probably have to look at reviews. Uh, but I'm definitely uh, very interested in this game. I'll def I don't know if I'll get it day one because there's a lot of games coming out in October. Uh, but I'll definitely be looking into it. <clears throat> The Ivory Order is famous for providing medical supplies throughout the realm, and indeed the wider world. Every smile the Order brings to someone's face makes Winifred proud to be a disciple. So yeah, we, get, we uh, gave her some help, so she, I believe she walks off? No, she stays over there. You fulfilled the necessary requirements to unlock the mature woman's flip side story. So yeah. You can actually they if you do certain things like talk to people or do something for them you can unlock their side their side stories which i'm curious to see what side stories are so you can read special stories about the characters and enemies along your collected cards progress through the adventure and defeat the myriad enemies in your path to collect this every special story view your collection actually i want to now because based on what my have my save file i don't remember what i had So you can go to characters, pretty much view everybody. So pretty much you can like detail information about them. Not a day passed that he didn't wear his hat, <laughs> his hair, or arrange his clothes the way he liked. She was the prettiest girl in the village, and one day he'd sure she'd notice him. You can look forward to the backs of these cards and the whole story. Okay, never mind. <laughs> That's only in the full version. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much all that I wanted to talk about. Oh. Speak to the inhabitants of Nexon to gather more information about Soul the Treasure. Okay. But yeah, I'll leave that to you to finish from here now. Uh, I just wanted to make this video to give awareness to this game that was kind of like just in the middle of the direct. It was like in the middle of like Mario Party and Monster Hunter at the beginning. And then after that was like Kirby, Smash, and Animal Crossing. It was kind of like stuck in the middle that people probably didn't notice it too much. I think this is a promising game. I implore you to check out the demo if you want to give it a try. Um, I think this game is going somewhere. It might have something on its hands. Um, so yeah, if you're interested, if you uh, like this video, uh, make sure to, you know, leave a like and stuff, uh, maybe comment down anything that you uh, want to talk about about this game, or if you're interested in, or if there's anything you noticed that I didn't, um, but yeah, this is pretty much it for me, uh, hope you guys have a great rest of your day, see ya!